say that it feels right Hey guys, welcome back for another Clash Royale video. So in today's video, we will be taking a look at top ladder multibate gameplay shared by Joby. Okay, um, in case you guys don't know who Joby is, Joby is basically a multibate user. It's like a one trick, okay? And he is using currently using this deck, the cannon card version instead of Rascal of the multibate. And he recently hit top 200. And I hit him up, and he said he is uh, fine to share some replays with me. So yeah, he shared four replays with me. So we have some big names. We have Ruben, we have Diego B. So today's video will be epic. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, once again, this is the deck. Obviously, now it's not so obvious, but this is quite an old deck already. It's like a couple years old. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into our first replay against Ruben. By the way, Ruben is using this Lava Hound deck, which is ridiculous. I don't think Ruben actually used that deck. Maybe? Maybe he's just sniping uh, Joby. Maybe? I don't know. So let's see how Joby deals with Ruben. So it's gonna spear goblins to uh, test the water and Ruben's just gonna lava hound and he immediately pressures opposite lane with cannon cut as well as barb barrel predicting something unfortunately uh, Ruben didn't play any ground troops instead the flying machine was played but the flying machine will go t will turn to waste because uh, it flies faster than the lava hound and let's see how Joby defends this goblin gang and then fireballs onto the skeletor axe Okay, so he's gonna mini hot onto on the top of Mega Minion and the Love Pups, and Spear Goblin for the remaining pups as well as Miner. Okay, I would say it's pretty hard for Joby to defend against Ruben's pushes because Ruben has Flying Machines, Skeletrax. Arrows and yeah, so cannon cut snipe the bot hut and then flying machine to counter the cannon cut to mitigate the damage. And then goblin tanks to respond to the barbarians. Okay, bot barrel for the flying machine to tank. And then mortars to pressure. So Ruben Lava Hound at the back and Joby is going to get a ton of damage from this uh, mortar unless Ruben deals with it. Let's see, so it's going to scare drag, so Fireball once again. And then he's not going to play Minion Hawk because obviously he knows Ruben has uh, arrows in his hands and instead he played a cannon card to take down the tower. Well not quite but yeah close. And now he played Minion Horde because the tower is down anyway, so uh, Ruben will have to spend Elixir if he wants to arrow. That's good for Joby, and he's just uh, defend lightly with Spear Goblins. Meanwhile, Ruben will Lava Hound at the back once again, and Mortar to pressure once again. More tower take down the tower, and then Cannon Cut to pressure the King Tower, so that Ruben has to defend and can't make a gigantic push out of it. Fireballs onto the Scare Drags. Uh, Mortar is going to pull the Lava Hound, but... There's no time left for Ruben unless something crazy happens. Arrows for the Minion Horde. And yeah, that's about it. Two flying machines is pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> as well as a Lava Hound and a uh, Miner on your tower, but there's no time left for Ruben, unfortunately for him. So our Joby took the dub <laughs> against Ruben. In case you guys don't know who Ruben is, I am not. I don't know what you're doing. If you're playing, if you're playing CR for so long and you don't know who Ruben is, I don't know what are you doing right now. So, uh, our next game against Slifer, the sky. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's, it's Slifer, okay? Slifer plays a uh, slightly different variation of Joby stack. He has arrow, so obviously he has a but he has a better matchup over Joby. So we'll see how Joby deals with this matchup.
Okay. Slide on, on the top of your screen and Joby on the bottom. He gives good game. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe he recognizes uh, Slifer's bag. Because this is top ladder. Obviously, they've played each other for a long, for a very long time already. Cannon cut at the back, mirroring the archers. Obviously, I don't think. Uh, I think Joby knows Slifer won't play Expo, so that's why he went cannon cut at the back, and uh, Slifer just goes in with minor plus five for to kill the cannon cut. Then cannon cut and respawn for Joby's mortar. Spear goblins to kill it faster so that it doesn't cross the bridge and uh, potentially deal some damage. And then mortar set up by Slifer. Looking for some damage and Joby just ignores it and goes in with Miner and Goblin Gang. Uh, meanwhile Slifer defends it with a skeleton and archers and Joby defends the mortar with his own cannon cut. And Slifer now has to deal with Joby's cannon cut with a Miner. Joby just mortars probably. Oh yeah, Joby just mortars, and then uh, the opponent plays Kenka once again, and now Joby just plays Spear Goblins and Bot Barrel, so that it doesn't cross the bridge. I'm sorry. Okay, both players are resetting Joby up 3 elixir, let's see how uh, Joby will capitalize on it. Spear Goblin at the back, I mean Goblin Gang at the back. And then Cannon Cut, make a push. <laughs> and the opponent is ready for it and plays Mini Horde. That's a prediction, probably. I think it is. So Archers to deal with the two Spear Goblins and now Joby is up a slight bit of elixir. And it's just gonna play mortar, the tank for the archers, and just gonna play minor. Yep, yeah. he's gonna play minor for some chip damage. Obviously, in this matchup is about how uh, well you can use your uh, cycle cards. I mean, your bait cards as well as your minor to get chip damage. Well, that cannon card turned to a Joby's cannon card, so that was pretty fortunate for Joby. And Joby is now up 400 damage because the opponent is not a minor. The opponent is going to do the same thing again and Joby is going to go on defense with his own mortar. And Joby is going to minor at the back. And then Minion Horde is unfortunately countered by Arrow and now Joby is just going to fireball the Minion Horde instead of the mortar. And he still has to deal with the 3 minions because he missed 3 of them. And Goblin Gang to catch the Miner. Meanwhile, the opponent can cards. Looking to do the same thing again. And Joby just sets up a defensive motor once again. And then Miner Hot's onto the cannon card. Because Miner Hot deals a lot of damage. Unless you predict them, it's gonna get value. So that's a good thing about Miner Hot. Okay, that is just uh, make Joby the waste his fireball. And Miner once again. The skeletons do predict the Miner. But the miner still got two shots onto the tower and now cannon cut is uh, rolling slowly towards each other. And then uh, both of them played the same same mortar against each other and luckily the mortar are targeting each other though. But Joby has spear goblins supporting it so uh, the opponent still has to spend some elixir to deal with the mortar. Cannon cut will target onto the miner unfortunately though. So yeah, the opponent is going on offense right now and just gonna fireball the cannon card. Okay, he misses the mortar though. Meanwhile, Jopi is mortar doing a great job at defending the opponent's mortar. Fireball ready for the for the minute hot. The opponent plays cannon card instead, and then archers to clean up the spear goblins. Fireball onto the minute hot and cannon card. Then mortar to counter the opponent's mortar. Kenakar is not going to cross the bridge, so that's good for him. And Joby knew that he has arrow, so he uh, waited for the arrows to come down and play the Goblin Gang and Miner. Mortar once again to defend. The opponent is going to get some uh, spiable value on the tower, hitting the Mortar as well. Kenakar to defend against the, the Miner, and Miner onto the tower once again. Fireball to predict something, does get the skeleton. Miner is going to get a few shots in. Spare Goblin to support. And then Mortar just for the memes, and yeah, Joby hit, gets a dub. 
Okay, our third game against Diego B. Diego B, in case you guys don't know who he is. By the way, Diego B is playing Splash Out with Bomber. In case you guys don't know who Diego B is, Diego B is the, is the 2018 World Champion. One of the World Champions. He was in uh, Team Liquid, so yeah. So Joby is going to start out with Mortar and then uh, Diego B responds with a Knight and Bomber. And then Joby plays a Cannon Card to force out more. Troops from Diego B. Forced out with Barrel and a Baby D. Joe B will just a minion hot and then mine it to support. Okay, Diego B nados, but he misses one minion. That was very unlucky for Diego B, and Miner actually got a lot of damage on the tower. Diego B wasn't too happy about it because he had to spend. Uh, a lot of elixir dealing with those troops. Meanwhile, Joby is just gonna mortar again. Okay, so he's gonna mortar again. Diego B is gonna set up a cage and then maybe these to uh, to snipe down the mortar. Okay, cannon cut prepared for the for the brawler and then. Yeah, Joby is just gonna let it go because Diego B might have NATO ready for his minion horde, so that's why he didn't want to risk it. And then Bart Barrel just to cycle, countered by Diego B's own Bart Barrel. Final once again, caught by the knight. Okay, Joby is gonna cycle, spear goblins at the back, and then uh, minion hot on top. Of the knight and bomber, and this time Diego B just nados because he knows uh, the minion hot won't do any damage because they're in tower range. And more to opposite lane so that Diego B can't make a big push after the brawler pops out. And then Goblin Gang will soak up the damage of the baby, baby D. And meanwhile, Diego B just cycling troops and Joby is cycling Miner at the back. Doesn't want to overcommit on offense because uh, Diego B can just make a huge push out of that. Spear Goblins ready for the graveyard and then Cannon Card to defend against the Brawler as well as the Baby D tank for it. And then Nado's activated. Uh, Diego B activated King with Nado on Miner and then uh, Joby uses Goblin Gang to deal with the graveyard. And once again, Diego B sets up a cage. And then a Bart Barrel onto the Goblin Gang. Medium Hot plus Mortar on the Baby D. Okay. Joby is just gonna play it slow and then plays a cannon card at the back. And then Miner plus Spear Goblins opposite into pressure as well as Mortar. And yeah, the cannon card will deal with the Knight. So, okay, Diego B NATO probably thought Joby would win it with Minahot or something like that. But uh, Joby didn't, and Diego B sets up a cage. Miner onto the tower, caught by the bomber as well as the knight. Cannon Cut once again, preparing to defend. Uh, Diego B just goes in with uh, Baby D and uh, Graveyard opposite lane. Fireball and Goblin Gang onto the Baby D as well as the Graveyard. Mortar opposite to apply more pressure. So the mortar is gonna get a shot on the opposite lane brawler, so that's pretty good. And then cannon cut as well as Bart Barrel onto the brawler on the left lane and knight. Bomber is gonna get shot by the cannon cut and mortar is gonna get a shot on the tower. That is huge. Nado has to spend to kill a spear goblin and then uh, Joby just safely minion hordes. Unfortunately though, the surviving baby D is actually quite annoying and yeah, <laughs> Diego B just goes in with a knight and graveyard but Joby is prepared for it and Goblin Gangs and Spear Goblin to defend as well as Bart Barrel because uh, better safe than sorry and Mortar locks on to the bomber fortunately for Diego B but Diego B just goes in with a naked graveyard I don't think that's a good pay Flyerball to predict Something okay, it actually got the goblin gang two goblins actually. 
and then the mortar is actually locked onto the tower, fireball onto the tower for some more damage, and then uh, desperate graveyard by Diego B, but that's not gonna be enough. <laughs> Joby is VMing because he knows that is a tough matchup to beat. At least it's very annoying because uh, considering Joby has a lot of swarm units and Diego B has a lot of splash. So yeah, a very nice game by Joby. On to our last game against this uh, Axlon. That's probably how you pronounce the name. He's using the very popular uh, Bomber, Valkyrie, Goblin Drill, Warbreaker deck. So it's a very annoying cycle deck. A lot of pro players call it no skill and let's see how Joby deals with that. Okay, the opponent splits Warbreaker. Mortar to boot. Mortar to pull both of them. Notice the mortar placement because he doesn't want the opponent to activate King of Skeletons or something like that. And then the opponent just plays Fire Spirit as well as Bomber to deal with the mortar. The opponent plays uh, the Goblin Drill. And then Joby just waited and then Goblin Gang. The opponent Fireballs. Yep. And the Goblins actually got quite a bit of damage onto the tower. Joby just cannon cards. Preparing to push, ignores the wall breaker. And then minion hot because he knows that the opponent doesn't have fireball right now. Fire spirit will splash onto the minions, but that's not enough. And then bomber to pull the minions. Meanwhile, the miner is hammering away at the tower as well as the spear goblin. The opponent has to spend a fireball onto that, so that's uh, pretty good for Joby. Fire spirit onto the barb. So the opponent still has the damage lead, but Joby is up quite some elixir, like one to two elixir. Okay, Joby is gonna play a cannon card, anticipating the opponent will be playing something, but the opponent doesn't. And then goes with Minion Hot once again, cause he knew that the opponent doesn't have fireball and cycle once again, so that's why he played that. Okay, Miner and Minions are out on the tower. Fireball came down. But the cannon card locked onto the tower and pretty much brought the tower to half health. Brought down to half health and then uh, Bomber and Warbreaker, the Bomb Brothers, Mortar to, to respawn. Okay, the Mortar actually locked onto the tower. The opponent tried to activate King with that and realized he made a mistake. Gives up the oops. And then Spear Goblin cycle at the back. Fire Spirit cycle at the back by the opponent as well as the Bomber at the center. And tries to go in with Goblin Drill once again. Will be met by the uh, Goblin Gang and a Bart Barrel. Unfortunately, two Warbreakers connected, but that's okay because uh, Joby can just apply pressure on the opposite lane with Mortar and then can cut. So he didn't get much out of this push, but Miner will be onto the tower. Fireball to predict something does get the Valkyrie. The opponent will go in with a Goblin Drill plus Fireball push right now. Because he probably knows Joby doesn't have Swarm units. We well, only have Swarm units, so that's why he will go in with Fireball. Joby waits for the Fireball and then plays a Goblin Gang after the Fireball lands. Mortar is gonna get a lucky shot onto the tower, and what, meanwhile, I didn't I didn't see what happened. Let's that's a shame. Okay, so minor. And then, while the opponent is pressuring the opposite lane, uh, Joby played a minion hot onto the Valkyrie. And the minion was just hammering away onto the tower, on the tower, and then brought it down to fireball range. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically it. That's how you beat the, the very annoying Goblin Drill deck. So once again, I want to thank Joby for sharing these replays and uh, obviously he's at, I don't think, yeah, he, I think he's at a bit of tilt right now because he was top 200 like yesterday, but yeah, that's alright. I'm sure he will get to top 200 once again. So this is the deck and yeah, Mortar Bait, very high skill deck, I would say. So yeah, once again, I want to thank Joby. If you want to follow him on Twitter, go ahead. I will link his Twitter in the description and I will see you in the next one. See ya.